In this demo, we're going to learn how to use task modules from bots in Microsoft Teams. So the first step is going to be to create a bot and add it to our existing Microsoft Teams app. And then we're going to extend the bot to support our existing task modules to display a video and to change the selected video. Now, this demo is going to require a valid Azure subscription in order to create a bot using the bot framework. However, if you don't have an Azure subscription, you can use the legacy bot framework registration portal. Just refer to the Microsoft Teams documentation for details on how to do this. Now, this exercise or this demo also assumes that you've created the Microsoft Teams app project with the Yeoman generator that contains a personal tab from the previous demos that I've already shown you in this module. You're going to update this project to add the new task module that is going to use an adaptive card. So the first step is going to be to register the new bot in Microsoft Azure. So I'm going to start by coming over to my Azure subscription and I'm going to go into an existing resource group that I already have called MS Learning and I'm going to go add from the marketplace a new bot channel registration. I'm going to select create. And I'm going to go ahead and enter in a unique handle. So we'll just call this our MS Learn uh, 2021 Q4. I'm going to leave it in my default subscription. Uh, resource group will be MS Learning. Location is East US. I'm going to choose the F0 tier, tour, uh, tier of pricing, which is has a significant like free uh, allocation to it. Uh, we're not going to use App Insights either. And I'm going to go ahead, let, I'm going to let it go ahead and automatically create an app ID and a password and then select create. So this is going to trigger Azure to start the provisioning process for my new resource. It's going to take a minute or two. Now, in order for the bot to interact with Microsoft Teams, I need to enable the Teams uh, channel. So I'm going to go to the channels section. I'm going to go to uh, add a featured channel of Teams. I'm going to go ahead and say save, agree to the terms of service. And now if I look at all of the channels, I can see that Teams is actually up and running and everything is working. Now I need to get the bot's app ID and password. So what I'm gonna do is go to the configuration. I'm gonna find the app ID. So that's this ID right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and let's go back to our project. And I'll just put this bot ID. And then we're also gonna need the secret. So let's come to our app registration for our bot. I need to go over to our uh, client certificates and secrets for the app, app ID, and we'll create a new secret. So I'm just gonna leave all the defaults and I will copy the secret and stick that into our notes right here that we can, uh, that we can use it later. Now, the next thing that I need to do, now that the app ID and the bot has now been created, the next thing I have to do is I need to open up the project that I created in the previous exercise in VS Code. Um, then I need to go update the ID for the actual bot. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to our environment and I'm gonna find the app Microsoft app ID and app password. So we paste our password in and then I'm also going to grab the ID for our app and I will paste that in here as well. So at this point, the bot's been registered with the Azure Bot Service, and the next step is to implement the bot and add it to Microsoft Teams. So now the first step is gonna to be to add the bot to the app's manifest file. So I'm gonna go find the manifest file in our project. I'm gonna find the bots section. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a new entry uh, for our bot. This registers a new bot that only exists in the personal scope and has a single command mention me. And we're going to ensure we're going to use this to ensure the bots actually working. So the next step is going to be to actually code the bot. So I'm going to create a new folder in our server folder, and it's going to be called learning teams bot. And inside of this, we're going to create a learning teams bot.ts file. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this code. Now this is just the standard boilerplate code uh, for uh, creating a bot that's just going to echo um, the current user's name uh, that initiated the bot. I now need to add the bot to our Teams app components file. So if I come over here to Teams app components, I'll go ahead and add it uh, here. So this is going to tell it to automatically load it to our API. And then now we can test it. So we'll just make sure that everything is still running, which it is. And now that it's running, the one other thing we need to do is we need to go to our bot configuration and update the location where our bot 
is running. So here we're in our bot registration. I'm going to go to the configuration page and we need to enter in the URL for where our bot's running. So that's going to be HTTPS colon andrewconnell.ngrok.io. And then I need to specify the endpoint. So all of our bots are running off the, AP, the messaging endpoint for API slash messages. That's what's going to be listening. That's what's going to be listening for. So we'll go ahead and save those changes. Now, the next thing we can do is go ahead and test our app out. Now, before we do this, I need to go back to Microsoft Teams and let's uninstall our existing uh, app um, because we need to reinstall it for uh, to register the bot. So I'm going to uninstall it by selecting it from the More Apps menu. Should be uninstalled. So now if I come back over to uh, a different tab, a different team and come back to our tab, we can see now that our personal tab is, is gone. It's not in there and it's also not listed here. So now let's go ahead and let's upload our app. So I'm going to say more apps. Uh, we're going to upload a custom app for me or my teams. This is the YouTube player. And we can see that it has a bot and it has a personal app. So we're still in good shape. So go ahead and say add to install our app. Now it's going to automatically load the chat tab uh, for us to have a dialogue with our app. So I'm just going to say mention me and we'll run this to ensure that our bot works. And sure enough, you can see that our bot works because our bot did respond. And if I enter in just some random text like hello, we should see our bot respond with a different response learn Microsoft Teams.